Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to transition into iteration. So what iteration is, is it allows us to be able to take our functions that we're building and scale them up to many you know, data uh, or many just different iterations within a vector. So we're going to show you how to do that. And the tool that we're primarily going to use is this thing called PER. So here's the data science workflow sheet. Um, you can see PER here is in the middle with iteration. And you can see this kind of cycle. So we're going to click this cheat sheet here. So just click that. And you should get a download down here. I'm just going to open it up. All right, so this is the PER cheat sheet. And it's basically applying functions or iterating. Um, and what we're going to talk about, there's a lot in here. Uh, and we'll just kind of go through the main pieces that we're going to talk about. So the first one is the map function. And that's right here. This is primarily probably 99.9% .9 of the time that I'm using this package. Literally, I'm using the map function. Um, the map has several different variants. Map2 and PMAP. Map2 allows you to do two variables to be mapped. Um, PMAP allows you to do any number of variables, uh, but primarily we're just mapping typically one variable. So that's why this map function is so important. Um, we'll also be talking a little bit about some of the different variants of the map function. So map ret returns a list but um, you can set it up to return a character vector or a double, um, which makes it a little bit easier to use inside mutate statements um, because these are vectorized, whereas this is uh, returns a, a list that's vectorized. Um, so we'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, there are some shortcuts here. So if you've seen throughout the course where we're using that tilde and then x comma y or um, x as a function of y, uh, it has this kind of special notation here, right? Well, you can see it right here, map to um, as a function of x plus y. So um, the rest of these functions, uh, some of these I use, but uh, pretty infrequently, and we won't really focus too much of, of our time on these. Uh, reducing, so you've heard of map reduce. Uh, reduce is um, an, another type of function that can be used quite frequently uh, and I use this actually um, in the 201 course to be able to reduce a bunch of data frames into one so um, that, that's one option uh, is reduce we won't go over that in this course just because it's again um, not a 80-20 rule 20% uh, of the time um, we're going to be using the map function and that's going to get 8% of your results. The second sheet is really important because this is what shows us how to work with um, the, the map function specifically. So we've got nested data over here, and we'll talk a lot about nested data because it's super important, uh, especially when we want to scale up modeling. Uh, we need to be able to work with uh, data that has a tibble inside a tibble. So this is a, a tibble, and if you nest that data, uh, each piece of this data is being when you group on, say, Satosa, various color, and this is the iris data set, it'll actually kind of uh, nest in a hierarchical structure uh, each one of these different data frames um, as their own data frames within a data frame. I know that sounds a little bit complicated, but we'll kind of we'll, we'll go over it, and it'll make a lot more sense. Um, it's a two-step process. Uh, we'll see that there's a group by. So when you group um, on, say, Satosa. Uh, so species, you get Satosa, uh, varus color, and virginica. Um, then when you uh, do your nest, it'll actually just detect those groups and nest those um, this data within a tibble inside of a data frame. And then there's an unnest function. So uh, you can perform something on this data, and then when you unnest it, it comes back uh, into a single level data frame. So we'll explain this whole process here, but that's really something important that you're going to want to learn and really focus in on. Um, they call these list columns. So again, this is the workflow. Uh, make a list, uh, work with the list columns, and they show a linear regression model being applied to each one of these data frames. So this is one of the data frames. This is another one. This is another one. And then you can apply the models. And then um, you can simplify the, the list column output uh, by using the broom package, typically. 
Okay. Um, that is primarily uh, the, the basics of this cheat sheet. And uh, we'll primarily, again, be using the map function. And you're going to get a, a lot of uh, use out of it in this course.